Welcome once again. Today's topic in English literature is daydreams. Before we begin with the lesson, let us see what does daydream mean. A daydream is when your mind wanders and your attention shifts from the present situation to a completely different one. In short, a daydream is a series of thoughts while one is awake, whereas a dream means imaginary events seen in the mind while sleeping. Depending on the way you use your daydreaming time, it can either prove beneficial or sometimes even harmful to an individual. The lesson that we are about to begin is an example of how daydreaming without a good purpose can lead to destruction, fights, and commotion. So let's begin. Once there lived a couple who spent a lot of time in idle talk. One day, the husband said, I have always wanted to keep cows. If by chance I get some extra money from somewhere, I am going to buy a few cows. But that means a lot of work. You have to feed the cows, walk them, bathe them, milk them. Cows need a lot of looking after. One cow would be enough. There's no need to buy more cows. But think of all the milk we'll get if we buy more, said the husband. That's true, the wife agreed. There will be so much milk that we can even have plenty of dahi and butter and ghee. Wouldn't it be lovely? How lucky that I have all these earthen pots kept aside. I'll use one of the pots for milk, one for dahi, one for butter. The ghee I'll put in another jar and I'll use this remaining pot to send milk to my sister. Send milk to your sister? Who said you could send milk to your sister? There will be plenty of milk if we have so many cows. Why shouldn't I send it to my sister? Because we are going to sell it in the market. That's why. I will decide what to do with all that milk. And not a drop of it goes to your sister. Remember? I'll see how you can stop me from sending a pot full of milk to my dear sister. I do all the hard work running after the cows, so naturally I will decide what happens to the milk. Just try stopping me. The wife exclaimed. Is that so? shouted the husband. Watch this then. He began to lift and smash the earthen pots one by one. His wife began to scream. Gopal Ban, who was passing by, heard all the commotion and rushed inside. When he heard what had happened, he picked up a stout stick that stood in a corner and began to swish it through the air and pound it on the floor. The husband and wife were both astounded to see his antics. What are you doing? They inquired. Move aside, said Gopal Ban. I have to drive away your greedy cows. You have let them wander and now they have ruined my field of beans and cucumbers. Oh, my lovely field of beans and cucumbers. 
But you don't have a field of beans and cucumbers, said the husband. As soon as he said that, Gopal Bhan stopped wielding the stick and looked at him with raised eyebrows. The husband and wife understood what he was trying to tell them. So, Gopal Bhand was indeed a clever and a smart man who tried to make the couple understand the dangers of purposeless daydreaming. By using his wit, he applied a similar tactic like that of the couples, only to teach them a lifelong lesson. So, I hope that this lesson will help you to make good use of your free time in the future. Thanks for watching. Please consider to like, share and subscribe for more videos.